Welcome to the Trend Micro Deep Security video series. My name is Nick Russo and I'm a customer service engineer on the hybrid cloud support team. In this video, we're going to be covering the new features for Deep Security 12. With the release of Deep Security 12, all features that were added in the Deep Security 11 feature releases, 11.1, 11 11.2, 11 and 11.3, are all rolled up into this major release. The main high-level topics that we're going to be covering today in this video are improved security, simplified management, and extended platform support. The first feature we're going to talk about today is improved container traffic scanning. With Deep Security Agent 11.1 .1 and earlier, the Intrusion Prevention Module inspects traffic that passes through the host computer's network interface to the containers. With Deep Security Agent 11.2 or later, the IPS module can also inspect traffic between containers. Next is Integrity Monitoring. We've made improvements to the real-time scans. Real-time file integrity monitoring on Linux and Windows Server platforms is now provided using the Application Control Engine. The updated file monitoring engine captures information about who made changes to a monitored file. This feature is supported with Deep Security Agent 11.1 .1 or later on Linux and with Deep Security Agent 11.2 .2 or later on Windows Server platforms. The last improved security feature that we're going to cover today is the automatic anti-malware engine update. Malware is constantly evolving, so the anti-malware engine that Deep Security uses must be updated regularly. Previously, to update the anti-malware engine, you were required to upgrade the Deep Security agent, sometimes resulting in a reboot of the computer. With this release, you can update the anti-malware engine separately from the Deep Security agent. You can set this update to happen automatically, which keeps your anti-malware engine updated without manual intervention and without rebooting the system. Next is a new group of features that will help with simplifying management in Deep Security 12. The new inactive agent cleanup feature can automatically remove computers that have been inactive for a specified period of time. The easiest way for customers to manage the lifecycle of computers, especially in dynamic cloud environments, is to configure vCenter, AWS, Azure, and coming soon Google accounts. When your accounts are configured in deep security, it automatically manages the creation and deletion of computers under these accounts. When it's not possible to sync cloud accounts to deep security, this is where inactive agent cleanup comes in. Another feature available with Deep Security 12 is the ability to interact with the Deep Security Manager using our RESTful API. The RESTful API allows you to make HTTP requests to interact with the Deep Security Manager. Our SDK includes client libraries that help you to use the API in Python, JavaScript via Node.js, and Java. For additional information, check out automation.deepsecurity.trendmicro.com. The next feature, Upgrade on Activation, is actually good for keeping your entire environment up to date when you implement new machines into the environment. Upgrade on Activation is a new feature that instructs deep security agents to automatically upgrade when they activate if the current version they're running doesn't match the latest compatible version of the agent available for the platform on Deep Security Manager. Upgrade on Activation is initially supported for Linux platforms only. Windows Unix platforms will be skipped when the feature is enabled and is controlled through a global system setting. So that means when you put new machines out there, you install a deep security agent. As soon as they activate, it's going to check in with the deep security manager and make sure that it's running the latest version that is compatible with your deep security manager. Another great feature with Deep Security 12 is the ability to keep the anti-malware engine online with protection in place during an agent upgrade. When anti-malware is enabled and an agent is upgraded to the Deep Security 12 agent, anti-malware protection will remain in place. A reboot is still required to complete the upgrade and provide the benefits of the new agent. However, customers are free to plan this reboot at a future date. Or as with common with many Windows servers, simply wait until the next scheduled reboot to complete the upgrade. And then the last couple of new features for simplified management with Deep Security 12. First being signed installer packages. The installers for the Deep Security Manager, Deep Security Agent, and Deep Security Notifier are all digitally signed. Also, seamless Deep Security virtual appliance upgrades. The new appliance upgrade process can automatically upgrade the selected appliances and agents inside the VMware NSX for vSphere infrastructure. Our last set of new features in Deep Security 12.0 includes extended platform support. The first being agentless anti-malware for NSXT. To continue to support the infrastructure changing for our mutual customers, Trend Micro works with VMware to launch the new endpoint security solution on the NSXT. Customers can have agentless anti-malware protection on the NSXT 
same as what we have on the NSX V. Now, NSXT, if you're not familiar, is very similar to NSXV, but allows you to perform the same functionality with other hypervisors. At this time, though, the agentless support is only going to be available with ESXi and vCenter. So very similar to NSXV, but if you have infrastructure that works with NSXT, you can feel free to use that appliance in your environment and we'll be able to provide agentless anti-malware. The next feature of extended platform support in Deep Security 12 is going to be a new appliance for UEFI boot, NSXT, and NSXV. To simplify the infrastructure support for NSXV, NSXT, and latest firmware security requirements, Deep Security 12 merges these requirements together in a new single appliance. Customers can use the same appliance to deploy SVM on both NSXV and NSXT infrastructure. This appliance can also be deployed in the vSphere, which has virtual UEFI or BIOS support. The next new platform supported in Deep Security 12 is going to be the Azure Marketplace Bring Your Own License for GovCloud. Trend Micro Deep Security Manager has been released in the Azure Marketplace for years. Customers can now use the Azure Marketplace Bring Your Own License in the Azure GovCloud. Another new platform support feature in Deep Security 12 is the enforcement of TLS 1.2 strong ciphers. To provide customers additional flexibility over the security of their environment, Deep Security 12 introduces the ability to enforce TLS 1.2 and the use of strong ciphers. Now, this does not necessarily mean that you can't use other versions of TLS in your environment. Older versions of Deep Security that are upgraded to Deep Security 12 still have backwards compatibility with those older TLS versions. And the last couple of new extended platform support features for Deep Security 12, operating systems we're now able to support with Deep Security. Ubuntu 18.04, Windows Server 2019, Windows 10 Embedded 64-bit, Windows 8.1 Embedded 32-bit, Windows 7 Embedded 32-bit, and Solaris 11.4. We've also extended database platform support in Deep Security 12. You can now use SQL Server 2017 or Postgres 10.x and Amazon Aurora Postgres compatible as your Deep Security Manager database. SQL 2017 support has been available since Deep Security 11.2, so if you're on that feature release or newer, you already have support available for SQL Server 2017. That's going to wrap up our coverage of the new features in Deep Security 12. If you have any questions about any of the new features that were covered in this video, feel free to reach out to support and we'd be glad to help. Thanks for watching.